can start the recording. Thank you, Grace. Mm -hmm. And um, calling the meeting of the Fairfax County History Commission Advocacy Committee for January 20, 2022. So, let me get it in front of me. <coughs> well, we'll start with all the COVID related requirements. One is audibility of members' voices to conduct this meeting wholly electronically. The History Commission, this committee, needs to make certain findings for the record to evidence our compliance with all applicable laws. These mo motions address this compliance. First, I'm going to conduct a roll call as each committee member participating. In this meeting, to state your name and your location, I ask each of you pay attention, close attention, to ensure that you can hear each of your colleagues. Cheryl Ann Rapetti. Muted. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice smile, but it's not going to cut any. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, at at, at the um, at the Confederate names uh, thing, I I was muted and I couldn't unmute myself and there and we were voting and they said smiles don't count <laughs> we have to hear you uh, but I'm here in Centerville but really for, just, votes, for votes I would take a thumbs up if necessary that's true they, they would they they I I was a non-entity <laughs> all right I'm here and I'm Hunter Mill Carol Herrick I'm here I'm Drainsville um yeah. Subi Medi. Um, Subi Medi, Drainsville, McLean. Oh, hmm. Well, I'm just going to say McLean for both of you. I don't know. Tammy Manorino. I am here. Tammy Manorino, Mount Vernon District. Barbara Peters. Barbara Peters, um, Mason District, Annandale. Lynn Garvey Hodge. Um, Fairfax at large commissioner. Not Truly at large, but at large. Well, you know, the location actually doesn't mean necessarily the district, does it? It means it location. It where <laughs> are you sitting? What what juris -ish jurisdiction? And then Jordan Tannenbaum has a another meeting, um, but he he is excused and might join us later. Uh, county liaison present is just, oh wait, let me, I'm taking notes as we go here. Um, is Grace Davenport, uh, Heritage Resources and Plan Development Branch, Fairfax County Department of Planning and Development. At this point, I am handing the virtual gavel over to Commissioner Peters. Are you good with that? I've got Robert? it. So I may be heard to make the following motion. I move that the History Commission certify for the record that each member's voice may be adequately heard by each other member of this board. Oh, and watching the ARB, they do it better. The person who has the gavel then says, is there a second? Oh, okay, second. is there a second? <laughs> There's a second. <laughs> And then they do, then they do the, um, then they do the voice thing. I mean, the vote thing. Hmm. That's you, Barbara. It's a oh. whole new role. It's a whole I'm new sorry. role. All I'm in sorry. favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, All you opposed. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay. We passed. Thank you. Uh, second, I move that the History Commission certify that the state of emergency caused by the COVID-19 pandemic makes it unsafe for this commission and the public to physically attend this meeting in person and the usual procedures cannot be implemented safely or practically. As a result, I further move that the Fairfax County History Commission Committee conduct this meeting electronically through a dedicated video and audio conferencing line and that the public may access this <coughs> meeting calling one five seven one four two nine five nine eight two phone conference ID seven eight six four four three seven three three. Is there a second? I second, second. the motion. 
Aye. 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 Call the vote. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Finally, I move that the History Commission certify the matters on its agenda today relate to relate to the COVID-19 emergencies itself are necessary for continuity in Fairfax County government or are statutorily territorially required or necessary to continue operations and the dis discharge of the History Commission's lawful purposes, duties and responsibilities. Is there a second? Second, second the motion. Oh, I think was that Lynn? Yep. Yes, it was. Got it. Call the vote. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Motion passes. Give me my gavel. Here you go. So you I held your grip pretty tightly even when you passed it over. <laughs> well, I usually hold it a lot tighter than that. I just I feel <laughs> like I always did it wrong for the last two years. But that's okay. You know, you can always learn. So yeah. the, I, I have, um, I've written an agenda here. You guys never stick to the agenda. So don't feel like you have to just today. But let's do talk about the minutes. Um, and that is, I sent you some very informal minutes for our October and December meetings. There's more in there technically than needs to be there. I I'm an over minuter um, and I, I because I like reading them and reminding myself what we talked about. But technically, well, there's a whole lot there that could just say we discussed this. No, oh, but I, I really appreciated it, Anne, because I sat and read all of them that you sent. And and I thought, yes, I remember this happening. But would I have remembered it this evening or thought back to those points, no, not necessarily. So I think it was an excellent idea to go back and look at the last few meetings in the minutes. And, the, and, and then the, over the, minute. The other question would be, does it do any harm? And and I don't think so. No, I haven't noticed any harm that it would do. But that would be the only reason to be more concise. Is if it just was terrible things we were talking about, but I think they're all interesting and useful. And I sat on a, um, a board once and I was the secretary and. During my tenure, there had been some issues with the executive director. And the minutes were so vague. That when it came time, I mean, there, there was a good there was some major financial inappropriate things going on. Yeah. That when it came time to deal with what needed to be dealt with, there was not a body of documented knowledge that really supported what needed to be done. So we had to step back and take, good Lord, three to six months of coaching and counseling and coercing. And it, it just meant a lot of lost time. So I, I'm always on the side of over document as opposed to. I've seen it go both ways. Um, but I, I think for the part only, well, for a variety of reasons, usually political, um, it you can overshare. But I think this is all just so darn helpful uh, to me. It's, I started, I read all our minutes from, from, we've had a lot of gaps, but my on my on my computer, I have minutes from 2014 and well, they were really exciting reading too. So, um, and it, there was a fair level of also of detail. And, you know, it's like I say, we always have the same meeting over and over again. We kind of do, um, <laughs> but, 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 uh, but we're focusing ourselves better. Okay, so if you'd like. If I somebody, got my hand up or can you not see it? Nah, I can't see I it. Have my, can you not see it? You just have to shout, Carol. Well, I am, I'm shouting. I'm like you. I, I liked over minutes, but remember, we do have a recording. So they're that's recording true. the that's minutes. True. That's there's true. One, there's one great. other point to make about that, and I believe that Denise told me that it once the minutes are out, we don't necessarily have to keep the recording up. 
Now that may not be our decision, but it's, she thought that was technically the cor a correct thing that the, 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 the meeting record, I mean, obviously no, we haven't noticed anybody taking down our um, history commission meetings, but I, I don't know that, I think it's weird to have all these minutes. I mean, these recordings on YouTube, but there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's like over information. Talk about over minuting. Um, <laughs> well, but I like you, when I joined the commission, I had Chris Barbachek pull and, and make me a CD of all the minutes for the last, I don't know, 10 years or something. I did not read all 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, I did, you know, pick a point and work forward so that I had some idea of what had been going on and, and what was what. Um, and, I, and I still went to meetings and had no idea what the acronyms were, you know, for the, <laughs> the first six months. I was like, what in the world are they talking about? <laughs> um, but, you know, but I think it's useful. And tonight, I mean, I, I was telling Ann, I mean, I went back and, and have started watching on YouTube, the uh, Homes Run work group, um, you know, for the uh, historic overlay. And I mean, I've joined this committee at meeting 11, you know, and so I felt like, you know, I really need to, to know what's going on. So I mean, I'm glad they're on YouTube, and I'm glad I can go yeah. back. Um, you know, and I suppose it's better on YouTube than reading it. Especially if you go fast. Yes. <laughs> well, and I was talking to Ann about this too. I love the suggestion of going fast and it, making everybody like Alvin and the chipmunks. But I was um, I was working a jigsaw puzzle while I was listening to the minutes and I kept like trying to chime in like, oh, I have a point. Yes, I tried that too. And I was like, and I was like it's recording. Like it's <laughs> not live. So you have to remind yourself. Yes. I, told, uh, I, I told Tammy that when I, I went, I, oh, I went to a lot, I, I viewed a live ARB meeting last week and I did the same thing. <laughs> All in favor, I they couldn't <laughs> see me and they couldn't hear me. But I was sitting here in my dining room voting. It was crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so so um if you're okay with the or, or if you'd like more time, that's fine too. But if we wanted to um uh, pa uh, affirm the minutes of October and December meetings as I sent them, we could do that tonight or we could do it some other time. And then I, I don't know if they would be posted, but they could, or they, or they could be sent in the pack, the board package. That sometimes happens. In well, I move we approve the minutes. <laughs> I second that motion. We approve the December and what the October minutes. Yeah, October and December, and I second that motion. Wait, I have to remember to write this down. Okay, so that's um, so that's Carol and Tammy, Tammy. and all in favor say aye. 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 And everybody opposed. Um, it passed. Okay, can are we good going to the annual report? Yeah. It, um, it's. Not, 2019, um, Elise is pulling, has pulled together the, all the information, but she's not finished with it. Uh, we have no particular time frame on 2020 other than we want to get it done in January, which gives us 10 more days. Um, so I, I think Lynn, we're going, we, we will need your 2020, um, uh, committee report and I don't think we've got 2020 we've got 2019 so um, um so yeah so write that down yeah 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 hang on i need to use a piece of paper and put this in very big letters okay. and you know what we'll send i'll send an email reminder don't worry that that I mean, okay. I, but and one of the things that that was in those minutes was it is not mandatory that we present a report like we have presented and I, I mean, I really question why we continue to do what we have been doing in the past, because I do think it's tedious. And I think that that 
focusing on what we did that was important and meaningful and that we're proud of and that we want them to know about is way more important than than all of the you know the budget and the bios and the you know I, I just feel like we get bogged down in that annual report and the format of it. I have a yeah I have a, I have I, a fresh a fresh perspective because I've recently read 20 of them. Um and I <laughs> I read them from which the ones did you read? And I started with 1998. Oh, and I, um, ours. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. I, I looked at a Because I looked at others, other <laughs> backs, and you know, there's some groups that don't even do annual reports. Oh, there are a lot. You know, you can go. It's just, anyway, let me, let me just say about ours. And there's obviously there's room for improvement. The only reason I would recommend that we stick with the format for the two easy ones is to get it over with and not reinvent the wheel. Um, I, I, this, the format has been so similar for so long (laughs) and I, and there are, I learned something from every single one. I was, I was, I was tickled with them. So I, what I, what I, my conclusion just on that was, I kind of want the boring stuff. We can we can shave off uh, some of the more boring stuff, but but in terms of a summary of who we are and what we do, well, you know, a lot of it is if you want to know about background of us or details of the awards committee or do you know there's a certain budget couldn't be more important, and so maybe a different format, but it's it's really important. So. So, I mean, just for just for 19 and 20, I thought we'll at least jazz up the very first thing, which is something like chair's report or chairman's remarks, and make that just punchy rather than text. Yeah, just bullets. Just bullets. Well, and I think I think I shared in the last meeting that um, that I did get feedback from the tree commission that they were using ours as a um, you know, as an example of a good report that they appreciated um, what we did, and they were they were going to format theirs after ours. So I know, but you know how what? Many people even know there's a tree commission. I know, and what the heck do they do? So, so let's can let's, I can I yeah, jump in here for just two? some new like you've got now new new observations, Lynn. So. Yeah, I, could I do can I do a screen share because I pulled up the women's commission report and it's slick and it's short and it's 12 pages long and it's bright and it's bouncy. Um, so any I don't know how to do this with <clears throat> teams. What's that? Not we, not we share. Know. Look for that up arrow. What's that? Uh, the up ar- the little box with the arrow that's pointing up that says open share tray. Yeah, is that can I access though if I'm not the chair? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. So yeah. you can open that up. You should Let be able see. to see desktops and windows. The windows being the various you know tabs you have opened on your desktop. Uh-huh. You should be able That's to select one of those. See. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So here we go. This is the Commission for Women. Very, what I want to say, pretty, but overview of what they do. Mm -hmm. Message from the chair, short and sweet. Projects for the year. Look, look, I mean, they they, they did a lot. They did a lot this last year. Um, Obviously, Turning Point is a big part of that. Uh, Mm -hmm. A bit on women's equality, protective order legislation, a lot of things that really they didn't do, but they helped support or um, lobby to support domestic violence prevention. But look at the pictures and so forth. It oh, makes you it, it makes you want to keep going. And look at it's all bulleted. Look at this teen trafficking aware, all bulleted. Women's History Month celebrations. Yes. This is a lot like the library's annual report. Yes. I mean, and I think ours is just so textual, 
Yes. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And and just not enticing, not readable. Mm-hmm. Well, at one time it was, but this format that the Women's Commission uses is much more current modern. in terms of design. Yeah. Yes, as a sure. model. Yeah, there was a time when ours was considered pretty slick, but I'm really kind of liking, um, and I love the color choices here because these are the suffragist colors. We always can stay with our red, white, and blue because we do tend to be um, patriotic in the sense of our history preservation. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just share that with you, but look yeah. at how they did the pictures. That could be oh, us, that could be visitors, that yes. could be p pictures from the um, history conference. I just think it, it, it's a bit more fresh looking than what we've been doing. All right. Okay. I you know, and talking about our markers. I mean, you know, just even having pictures from those ceremonies and dedications and yeah. new yeah. markers. And I mean, you know, we just, we just don't make it very enticing. And then, you know, I, I mean, I don't know who reads it except Anne. Well, the no, the board of supervisors do, because when we present it to the board, they have read it. I will tell you that. If you've been to any of those meetings. Yes, I have. Board, I have. The but board but knows. Yeah, the board of supervisors, you know, I mean, I think that as an advocacy committee, that is exactly our problem. I mean, we cannot be preaching only to the board of supervisors. Correct. We, we need Correct. to engage with the rest of the county. You're absolutely correct, Barbara. Absolutely. I think that is a lot of our um, problem is so, still so few people really know who we are and what we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I agree. And and when I was saying like that, I um, appreciate the the existence of our of our report. It wasn't so much the exact format. I'm all all in on updating and bulletizing things and making it yeah. mm -hmm. um, more readable and and shorter. Um, yeah. Yes. So that it really brings out the main points. I'm all on board for that. Right. And I'm going to guess there were very few printed copies of this. Um, I remember I was at one board meeting with a group that presented oh, one or two spaces ahead of us in, in front of the board. And they so wanted to get the board of supervisors to have a copy of their annual report that the, like a day or two before they overnighted their copies. Oh my gosh, they got slammed for spending that money. Mm -hmm. So I think keeping it as digitized as we possibly can is very wise. Sure. Yes. Well, and I loved, I said to Anne um, at the end of the year, I think um, Supervisor Stork had a year in review for the Mount Vernon district and it was a slideshow. And, nice. um, and they just kept rolling slides of all of the events that they'd held, the marker dedication and the river farm. And they it was the year in review, you know, 2021. And I thought, you know, we should really do that at the end of 2022 is have a slideshow like that. It's not, you know, it doesn't take that much time to put that together. You really just need, you know, a photo from every event or or a you know picture that represents the cover of a document or, you know, just anything like that. Um, so, but that's a very. So was it, it a PowerPoint? It was a PowerPoint though, really. It was just a, it, no, it wasn't even a PowerPoint. I don't think, I think it was a, just a digital um, slideshow, almost like, um, you know, something that you would put on uh, social media, um, just a slideshow of pictures. Um, just, it'd be interesting to find out what the format was that they used. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking of, you know, how Facebook does. Um, yeah, 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 yeah create one like it's your friend anniversary or whatever right, and right, they create right, a slideshow for right. you but it's that it was that simple um it was just you know slides um pictures you know placed on you know a standard background there i think there might have been um music in the background but it was it was fairly simple right that sounds like something like movie maker yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. i mean there's a zillion different programs that'll do it for you yeah yeah so does that mean that we would need to purchase a software or have no, access? It's free. Those things are free. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? We have, I think, a, an untapped fountain of knowledge and experience in Elliot. Um, when Esther and I finished the history conference, one of the reasons we enjoyed interviewing him was his energy and 
creativity to come forth and say, hey, don't you guys want to have somebody take notes at the history conference? And we just thought that was rocking. Well, in the crunch and the craze, some of you are familiar with the last few weeks before the conference, some of you may not be, it was total insanity. Um, that somehow got lost. But I think just going to Elliot and asking him, is this something? Could we use, look at this as a template. Is do you Wait, wait, I, I need to interfere. This is Carol. Did we pay Elliot or are we going uh, to? Anne, Anne Stunts has been cut off. And oh. we think if we eliminate the picture, maybe she'll come back on. She called me on the phone. Oh, Oops. weird. Oh, I didn't even notice. Well, I so noticed she's still the on the line here. So uh, if we get rid of, they're getting rid of the extra here. I just did. I don't know. You're still I, sharing. Um, yeah, yeah, stop the screen yeah. sharing. So, Ooh, I minimized it. Well, well, here yeah. we go. Wait a minute, let me find it. She's working on it. Where is it? Here we go. All right. I'll just, I think I'll do this. Did that help? One more. Yeah, one more. So you, you, the Commission for Women. You got you're you're going that. to have to um, close use oh, that share okay. tray again. And I can't give you directions because what all <laughs> mine is going to tell me is how to open and not how to close. Hang on a second. There you go. You got it. Okay. okay. Now we've got a screen. Now come back in. I see her. But Anne's not be great out here. Speak up and say something. Let's see what happens. I can hear she's testing one, two, three. She's not coming through. Okay. <laughs> that is strange. Wait, she's getting there. There, there we is. go. Oh, you're oh, on now. You. You're on now. All right. Goodbye. Thank what? you, Carol. One thing I did want to tell you is that the Commission for Women, that was a biennial report, too, was 2021. Oh, interesting. So they do one every other year? I honestly don't know. That's the most recent I could find. Interesting. I've just got all these devices going. Hold on. This is really... Oh, okay. Sorry, you guys. I just have to have a moment. To get turn your electric toothbrush off get this piece back up okay <sighs> sorry that was hard work wait i'm not plugged in everything's losing charge too um <laughs> unplug your toothbrush <laughs> wait wait here's my toothbrush I can yeah i had to remember after the webinar this afternoon to plug in to make sure i was yes. had enough juice for tonight so you guys i really like that women's um commission commission um, thing and um, you know it takes more understanding of graphics than I have um, but there's any number of good uh, good packages with well, Adobe and with public and what I was saying and you might have um, been cut out when I was saying this I'm guessing Elliot is pretty savvy about access to such formats. He may, or there may be one of us who knows graphic. Anyway, um, I think it probably oh, and I can I can help with graphics. Uh, and, so, and, uh, what are you familiar with, Subi? What are your, what, what uh, platforms have you used? Oh, um, almost, uh, almost any, any, software these days will give you graphics. So you have to tell me first, what is the text? Are you guys using Word to write the report? Then I can use Word. Yes, I think, I think uh, Elise does Word and then drops it into a PDF. Is, yes. Yeah. Saves yeah. it into a PDF. That's fine. We can import any kind of graphic, whether it's uh, JPEG or, or whatever, into a Word document. Well, no, I'm talking about something like Adobe Captivate. Do, are you familiar with anything like that? No, 
OK, but so we're going to need to find someone who's familiar with graphics at that level. That's I might, I might, well, I've got I'm why? Not, why? If a word can do a, a similar document, why do you need a word? To do a word can't do what we just looked at. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. And there are a zillion free programs that are easy yeah, to yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah easy yeah, to yeah, learn. Very, They're not fairly hard. easy. Uh, yeah, I can very easily do what you just showed. One is called Canva, C A N V A. I just learned about yeah. that. And um, yes, I was there. I watched Canva, it. I yeah. watched the Garden Club. No, <laughs> I did not. You didn't? Oh, there was a webinar for Garden Club yesterday that had a whole <laughs> Canva. It has its um, challenges. Um, the uh, I love. I think the hard for me, the hard part. Well, you know, it just might be that for me, everything's going to be hard, but um, certainly manipulating photographs and color pan panels like that, um, it's all in there somewhere. I you know, what would be easiest of all is just to contact the Women's Commission and ask what they use. I'm happy to do that. Well, that's a good piece of information to have, so that's a good thing to do. But it's not the only way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, I'm that's not saying that, but we all happen to like it. So it gives us a starting point, Barbara. That's what I'm thinking. The, the, I, why, the, not, why not know, Subi? The question about Elliot that I have is, is it within his scope of work or do we need to amend it? it oh, I think it can be. I think I think it can be. It's a summary of the whole year. He's taken our minutes for the whole year. He's put together packages for us that we review on a monthly basis that are significantly more sophisticated and thorough than they've ever been before. And would would we have to increase our budget for him? Yes, we would. Probably. Yeah, we'd have to pay him per uh, on his. Uh, and, and save two thousand dollars for the last two years at least for the history conference so we got about four grand sitting there somehow um, so i i see a hand raised for um carol i'm not carol is that you no that's, that's not me else. all right then Subi, you had a hand a real hand up at some point no no i just i just uh i just talked about it okay so um I, the hand up is a phone number. It is 202-359-1771. Um, I'm going to allow the mic for the person who called in if you want to state your name. Can and you? it's star six on your end to the person who called in to unmute yourself. Hey, it looks like Jordan was trying to join us. Yeah, that could be Jordan. Mm -hmm. I'll check what his phone number is. Where did I put my phone? That's a DC number, 202. Well, that's yeah. Jordan. That's Jordan then. He uses DC numbers. All right, then I believe it's star six if you'd like to unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Okay. So great. It's Jordan trying to get in. I've been trying to get in for the last half hour. Oh, Apparently, no. I can't get in because I was not listed on the list of uh, of meetings. Ah, that's problematic. Yeah, we did that on purpose. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I figured. I figured. I know it. I know it. <laughs> okay, good. Well, welcome. We're uh, thank you, Jordan. We're uh, we've gone through the minutes and um, okayed the last two meetings, and then we're discussing the three outstanding annual reports and right. the um, the the next steps are possibly to let let the process the the, the regular the so-called regular process which is at least um, finish up 2019 finish up 2020 if she'll use my help I'm I'm going to uh, happy to work with her just because those are um, so late and we know we can just crank them out and then uh, and they finish up my my term as chair and then mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm pretty sure we're talking about 2021 but I could be wrong about getting um, trying a, a, a whole new look for 2021 uh, and and you need to uh, Google 
your women's commission annual report because it's it's uh, something that could be very a, a style or a, a way of presenting that could be uh, useful to us. It's slick, mm -hmm. clean, colorful, and sexy, Jordan. Oh, good. We like that. We like. We certainly like the sexy. So, um, you know, I did hear some of when I was trying to get in. I heard some of the discussion, and I heard. Uh, maybe Barbara, it was you saying that you know we we talk to ourselves, the commission, but we don't get out enough and talk to others. I think that was in connection with getting the annual report to be more um, well to 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 be more public. Uh, more public. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I couldn't agree with that more. I think we uh, you know, and one of the reasons why I um, am delighted to be. Uh, to try to be more of a, a participant in this committee, in the advocacy committee, because I, I deal with those issues both in my regular job and, and now on the council. So um, I think that's really, really important. I think we should, you know, invite, I mean, I'd love to go and talk to the Board of Supervisors if I had the opportunity. Uh, when we present the report, I think we ought to invite them to our meetings. Maybe we do, maybe it's a standing invitation. Um, uh, but, um, but yeah, I think that's really important to get to be more public. I absolutely do. Mm -hmm. and, yep. and, well, yeah. everything that we do, Jordan, everything from markers to um, the conference to awards. Awards is a big, should be a big deal. Yeah, I know um, awards is a, a big deal, but I think that both in terms of, well, in, when I talk about being more public, it's getting out to other other groups in the public. I think Yes. if you look at the attendance at our conference even, it's an older group by and large. Yep. Yep. Made the same people. And I think, uh, you know, we need to talk about ways in which to bump out the commission to, a, to Absolutely. other groups. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and this, yeah. and this, uh, this a revised annual report <coughs> would be, would be something that would be very attractive and would cut to the chase and with photographs and bullet points. We're not saying dumb down. We're saying made sort of more efficient and more clear in what right. we're sharing. Well, yeah. Clarity, I think. Um, yeah, if you can, maybe on a, you can also pull up the Women's Commission annual report and you'll see what we're talking yeah. about. Maybe you already have, Jordan. Well, let me ask uh, you this. Um, so uh, so let's say we adopt, you know, a format that's similar to the, the Women's Commission report. Um, when is the 2021 actually do what's the timeline for this year when we're supposed to have it completed and then report to the board of supervisors typically what we would do is contact the clerk of the board of supervisors this is this is in our next item for um discussion on our agenda presentation of annual report is what drives when when it's due okay it has be done like a month before it's pre presented so that it has time to get um, reproduced if, if we're reproducing it. Um, and uh, so I, we said last time, let's contact the clerk in January and get on the get on the calendar. Mm -hmm. And so then then that lets you know that you've got to have it done by Gives May, us a July, August. It gives well, I think that's been the problem for the last couple of years is that we we haven't we've waited until it was done to get on the schedule and it wasn't done. No, right. no, yes, I no, don't think that's true. We never even asked. It's everything. Uh, that's a good point, though, Barbara. It's just we should have just said put us on the calendar. We we got bumped from the calendar from any consideration of the calendar in 2020 because of the emergency situation. Sure. Oh, right. sure. And sure. I must say I did not raise it in 2021 because I kind of felt we were still in an emergency situation. There's yeah. no reason not to do an annual report just because you don't have a date to give it though. It's just right. that we only react to we only react to deadlines and not self-imposed deadlines. Yeah, most most people do we best. Self-imposed deadlines all day long, but that's right. I, yeah. I do it every day, and um, and and unfortunately, it just doesn't do the trick. But if if 
if the board of supervisors gives me a date, sure, I'll do anything. Yeah. Exactly. Look at us. We are always meeting their requirements. So. Right. And so we leave what? this topic too much. I do want to jump in because we just had an ethnic and oral history meeting the other night. And that is yet another area that we really need to make much more public because the goal of that committee has always been to do some uh, responsibility sharing. So it's not just always the same commissioners all the time interviewing the same people that that we really want to take that down to almost a citizenship level where people can be practicing and presenting oral histories of their particular area. So I just I just didn't want yeah. that to get and lost. I think I, you know, we can't we can't help every committee to do this, but I think ethnic and oral history is a really good example of yes. You know, if we're if we're wholesale, they're retail, they're um they 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 can't. It's 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 enough people I could count them on one hand. They can't interview Do it all. any Correct. big number of people. So right. they have to leverage their 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 expertise and their enthusiasm and their knowledge over to historical societies and schools. And one of the ideas they had, which was very cool, but it it I don't know what I think the library's closing and stuff got in our way and we sure. never got back to it in that group, which was using the model of the um, of the War. sesquicentennial, mm -hmm. which had the 10 uh, Civil War kits that were in every library. Um, yeah. It's just one idea uh, where, where you could have an oral history kit in every library and and uh, a recorder and um, and but that's well and good if you don't sell it to the public first nobody's going to ask for it absolutely right you have to then pitch it to all the boy scouts and you've got tammy right. who's got a son who <laughs> did uh an oral history eagle scout project you pitch it to every historical society every eighth grade every i mean it it takes yeah a lot of doing and I think we could help them with that but you don't you can't sell something you don't have right so um, so, um so. hey uh, Anne, a quick question did were you referring to the National Women's Committee annual report no the Fairfax, no, Fairfax County's Commission Women's Commission oh, fair, okay all right still looking for that anyway uh, if anybody has a do you want me to send can, you a link for it yeah Jordan? that'd be great thank you thank you um, <laughs> Um, so and yeah, the other, sorry, I'm sorry, great. Jordan. Go ahead. Yeah, the other question I have is, do we put or and do commissions and other uh, boards put their annual reports online? You know, so they we could send it very easily to more people. Yeah, we just talked about that. By the way, to be to your question, the um, commission annual report, the Women's Commission, is a PDF. Just so you know, you know, PDF is the ultimate uh, camera ready version, but the right. The back uh, software. The original, the, right, you're right. The original template has, has to be something yeah. different. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. And I'm, 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 I can guarantee you what I just saw on screen can be done easily in Word. Nice. No, it can't. It, it, no, it can't. Well, why, I'm, why, why don't you take that part uh, of the conversation? It, it, can, it can be done in Word, but not easily. Correct. <laughs> well, it depends Correct. on your skill it level, right? It be a right? real stretch to try to yeah, do that yeah. in Word. I've done Word for the annual conference brochures for like about 17 years. So, well, and, it's, and, and it's fun to do, but it is also a stretch. You're much better I off know, with something. I know different. what you're saying, Subi. I have a friend who, um, who can do magic. I wish she were one of us. Um, she can do magic with Word. Although for something like this, she might even put it in PowerPoint, but it's still sort of the basic suite yeah, of of um of of what every almost everybody's got. So so and she just does the most beautiful work. So um with a sure hand. So so that's that's a lot of it too, is how far you've gone in your training and your experience. Well, and a little bit very, very tricky too, because you know if you don't get things to line up just quite right, when you go to give it to the next generation, it can get all kaflui. So, 
anyway. Yeah. Put into a PDF. So, well, I think I think um, PDF, but... I think one thing that we agree on is that we'd love to. And am I right for 2021? Do a new jazzier approach. And so, is there an action we should take between now and then? Would you like so, to? So, I mean, just because the women's commission has a cool one, let's like if we do it, let's not look like them. <laughs> let's have. Oh no 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 no! But the energy <laughs> and the format and the bulleting and the pictures of people that are um, relevant, I think. In the succinctness. I, I would. I would. I would. I, whenever I see a lot of pictures of commission members, I think they're in this for themselves. My my, I don't mind some, but I think we're talking the hit the history is what we really want to shine here. The houses, the yeah. the the markers. The, you know, well, this is very yeah, and I'll give an example. Like here's here's what I would put in there. I would put the picture of. Maura Keeney, who won one of the um, yes, the, yes. in Our front of the own a judge marker, right? Yep, yep. Now that's not a Fairfax County marker; it's a state marker. But we nominated her for that prize, and she won, and she won the award. And um, right. so I think that's like that's yeah. a great picture to be on there. I think it, yeah. I think that's in fact putting pictures. They really are worth a thousand words. They yep. will, it will. If all we did was sprinkle pictures throughout the same old boring format, yes. it would be. I it mean, would be better. I, I exactly. Don't exactly. Be rude about it, it just is the way we've done it, and there's nothing wrong with it. But but we can do it differently. We can do better. Yes, I um, agree. So, so, in terms of presentation of the annual report, to, oh well, we didn't quite finish next steps. Um, do you want? Right. Cheryl, this is you. Yes, that's why I've yeah. been like, <laughs> yes, waving my hand saying, would you like me to contact the clerk's office and put us on the calendar? A request that we um, get placed but on let's the have a, Let's like, uh, you know, I have visions that, um, you know, we have this plan and our idea is we're not going to get on there till, you know, May. But if they said like, oh, great, we'll put you on in February, that would be a bad answer. So let's have in mind like a no earlier than no date. earlier than the first of May. Uh, no earlier let than let me say May. something here. When when I was chair, it was always in June. They yes, always came back to here. us and same said here. it was like June eighth or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. We did yeah. we did set the date. I mean, we asked them when it was, but it was always I want to say the second week in June. May but it was yeah, it was but, never before then. Was but Carol, was that dependent on when you asked or? No, I was. It was all. I I always assumed it was like it's standard. But Anne came after me, and she would know something later. But it never occurred to me that um, it wasn't a standard date. But Anne, go ahead. Yeah, I um, we always ask as early as we remember to, and um, I just. The reason there were some dates that were not June, and I remember one year in particular where they were like, "Oh no, we're busy with this and we're busy with that. You can't possibly till some later." Then, date. then they changed it because they couldn't do it. But yeah, so we just don't well, know what to assume. We just don't know what to assume. It's kind of a new ball game, and especially if two years ago today, basically two years ago now when they responded to Elise that we don't want the regular presentation, we want you to come and sit around the conference table and talk about pre-COVID, talk about this, you know, that would have changed things too, how the scheduling would work. So, so step one is get on the schedule, but maybe I like the idea of saying not before May 1st. In case, yeah. in, just in case he really do right. want the time right. to produce it. Right, right. And, and, the, and I can You'll be prepared by May 1st to present. Yeah, I think we can be. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's why I suggested that too. Um, when I was chair, the reason that I recall, and this was, I think, before any of you, you know, of course it was before any of you were on the commission. Um, the reason was to give all the pertinent commissioners an opportunity to pull together their report and have it summarized that it, it was a time intentionality and 
June seemed to be, I think May seems to be a little bit lighter in terms of board content. I doubt that that's the case anymore, but that's a little bit of background on that. But since it's calendar year, you know, in theory, everybody could get everything in by end of January and and it could be pulled together. You know, it again, that's theory, but since it's just a, it's just everything that well, happens. end of January is next week, guys. No, no, but I, if we have uh, I'm going to be devil's mm -hmm. advocate here. Who is going to put this together? We don't know yet. That's exactly who's going to put this together. That's, that's correct. We don't know. Excuse me. We don't know. So if we go and ask for a date, uh, maybe we ask Elliot, and he says no. When I dealt with Elise on the on this, I had a huge problem getting her to get it done. So I think we should find out who's going to do it first before we go and set Carol, a date. Carol, Excuse me. Carol? Yes. So, I'm Carol, done. We talked about. No, thank you for that. Um, Elise is going to finish up 19 and 20, and then we're going to decide who's going to do 21. Yeah. If it's and and we talked about it sometime recently. We said if Elise is going to do it should just do what she wants to do if advocacy wants to have a role then advocacy has to do it and yeah. so um so that then it comes down to the human time and expertise and so it it usually starts with one person in charge is right one so person on this call who's willing to be in charge right and I, I guess I'm just saying we should know who's going to do it before we try and get a date, but maybe that, you all look at it the other way. No, it's the I'm, cart or the horse or whatever. No, no, but Carol, I just said I think we should decide if this committee is going to do it. This committee needs an individual right now to say, I'd like to do it. Either I'd like to do it and work with Elliot if it turns out that we can, or I'd just like to do the, be the person. Obviously, we got a whole committee here. For support, but it does have to have a lead. And right. I mean, I, I definitely think that advocacy should do it. I, I definitely think that this committee should take it take on the 2021 report. And um and I'm willing to um to assist with that. I don't know that I want to lead by myself, but um but I'm willing to to assist with getting that done. And I think that um you know, even if we were told like it needs to be done May 1st, we can get it done. That it's yeah, it's just Tell a matter of want, moving that to I'll, the focus. Tell me if you want, I'll be happy to support you and do a little research on how and who did the, the women's commission, just so we have some kind of a yeah. I mean, you know, I think we've done some due diligence. That's already in the minutes. I mean, if you need if you need one lead, I'm happy to do that as long as I have support from people. Right. Yeah, and I'll, I was going to say I'll support and you, Susie. Be an and, idiot if you want. <laughs> abso absolutely. So, um, so I will support you in that. I really think that you know, in this small group, I don't think that the annual report has to be done by a single person. I think it can mm -hmm. be parsed out. Absolutely, uh, out. absolutely. Um, and so I think I think we can, you know, in this group of folks, I think we can accomplish it by May first, even if that's the date we're given. And and I'd certainly be willing to help uh, you and Subi, Tammy, Tammy and Subi. I yeah, think on that. this could be really good. I think it would have benefited, um, you know, it would have been nice for over the years for for, pay, for at least to have had support and for, you know, yeah. it just would have moved gonna, things because it it just needs the main person in charge just check me on. or the main committee in charge. All right, so. Um, I think having this done as a committee will be helpful because you know, things like searching for images, you know, can take a while. Yep. Um, you know, as uh, you, you can probably find uh, a, a publishing program with a template, you know, mm -hmm. for making mm -hmm. all those pretty borders yep. and stuff. Yep. Yes. But um, but but finding the images and then just collecting the information and we may and just determining what information should go into the report. Right. Those are going to be right. The, right. I think part of the problem and has been that there was there was no inclination to do anything but the same old same old and that was not inspiring a lot of of participation right and that's human 
you know, when people have been doing the same thing for a long time, unless there's a meeting like this, things don't well, change. I'll tell you, the way it usually worked was somebody said, oh my God, who's going to do it? And there was always one person who raised her hand and we all went, thank God for a week. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> I mean, what happened. That's, a, I mean, that's for about, you know, say, 15 years. <laughs> we just have to say thank you very much for doing this for all this time um, because it's, it's, it's not fun. It just simply has to, oh, it could be fun, but it just has to be done. So now- So Anne, as a, as a next step, uh, may I suggest that, um, that first of all, we don't wait for, another, for our monthly meeting because we just simply don't have the time if we do this no. on a monthly basis, that I would take, um, I will do some homework and um, submit, a, a submit an action plan via email to the committee within a week with a timeline right. with a timeline on it that's what the timeline okay, and perfect. then you all can react to it it'll definitely be a draft since um i i you know humbly accept that i have some ways to go in learning everything um so it'll be in draft feel free to comment and you know um enrich it and then you know it'll be timeline with assignments. Uh, okay, on on your timeline, Subi, and this is circling back a little bit because I I don't want to lose this. Right now we've got I think some nice synergy on the commission. Um, mm -hmm. We have a commissioner who will be hurt and disappointed if she's not invited to participate on this. And I think, Anne, do you want to take that on to have that conversation? Because I think we need to be very, very sensitive to someone who's done something for 15 years. If we all of a sudden take it back without accolades for what she has done, good point. Mm -hmm. Whether or not she's been easy to work with, very good point. Yeah, we absolutely I, need I got to. it done. I What's um, that? don't don't. Um, so so what I would say is um, the one conversation I had with her with uh, on this she said hey is uh is advocacy ad she's is advocacy advocacy gonna take over annual report <laughs> she was like oh nice oh, entree what? okay and so and so but the point you raised such a good point because because you know kudos for for slogging through for years and years yes yes yes, um, yes. you know i I personally am very proud, but feel like a sucker that I did it for three years, but it was good experience for me. But if I had known, I could just say, oh, will you do it? <laughs> and she would. Jordan, have you given her her lunch yet? Uh, no, I've offered it to her, but she hasn't accepted. <laughs> Jordan always said he, he bribed her with lunch. Oh, yeah, well, you know, okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's Let's think about this. Why don't we just an idea? If y'all don't agree, it's fine. Why don't we offer to take Elise to lunch and thank her for her hard work on this? Just incubate on that. You don't need to do an immediate reaction, but I think that's fun. Be. I, I think it could be because we used to, to meet over lunch. It has to be well after. It may be sometime in the future because it, of course, has to be well after any risk of COVID. yeah i was going to say we we really can't do lunch before we need to start working on this <laughs> yeah no because no i'm not going in to get it in her timeline somewhere no i like i like Subi's idea and we can assume that our timeline ends on may 1st we can just start with that as our assumption yep um, i like it great i can send her grub up that helps <laughs> What's that, Jordan? What did you send her? Send her grub hub if that helps. Grub <laughs> hub. So, Not so a bad. You can you have a home delivery for each of us at the same time. <laughs> It'll be a I've Zoom done lunch. That. I've done yeah. that. With groups. It's like send everybody the same bottles of wine and do a <laughs> wine tasting. So yeah, well, that sounds interesting. So talking about, um, it's better if you all live in my town. It's always a little more challenging when you're all over the darn county. Um, okay, so so looking at the focusing now, we we've, we've got good next steps. Thank you, Subi. Thank you, everybody, on how to handle 2021 in terms of completing it. Now the next thing is presentation of the annual report to the BOS. So that's um, Cheryl to contact 
Jill Cooper, the BOS clerk. Um, now, do we present? I guess we do. To the extent we need to present, we present all three at the same time and have yeah. bullet point summary of some sort. Of uh, I, I don't know. I think that emphasizes our failure to have provided those reports. Well, that's, uh, but it's an understandable failure. That's why we're talking about. <laughs> well, but can't we just submit them without making it part of the presentation? It possibly. Because I think, you know, you're just going to bog us down in, you know, three years but, worth. But if you think about it this way, um, <laughs> if, if we don't do 2020, do we lose the opportunity to report on a lot of the Confederate names inventory and accept the accolades for that? <laughs> exactly. There's a lot well, of true. things that have happened the last two years, and particularly under the blanket of COVID, which has been suffocating. So... I think it's an opportunity to kind of toot you know our own. We do. You know what we do? And we, we don't, uh, the nice thing is we don't have to decide now. We just want to start thinking about it. But mm -hmm. um, it, it, at a minimum, we just select all our very best achievements, what no matter what year they happen yep. to. Right. In the, in right. the last three years. Yeah. Not saying, now we're going to go through 2019. Exactly. And right. 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 And, um, and I do think we've never... I've never, I don't know if they used, if the Board of Supervisors ever looked at PowerPoint presentations, I guess they did pre-COVID, but, you know, I think we could do a short and sweet PowerPoint for them if that's an okay thing, because I, otherwise, when you go to the, when you go to the presentation, they're all like, they're all like flipping through and trying right, to get right, to the highlights. Right. And, and wouldn't it be cool if they had the highlights, either as a PowerPoint or as the first page of the report or something? Right. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, presentation versus, another thing I wrote on this agenda is presentation versus conversation. It's kind of not up to us, but I think when you talk to Jill, that you can say that there we were prepared to give a different kind of but she's new i don't know if she knows what an old kind of presentation is to I'm, know what a different one is i just don't I, know i don't remember which year i attended the the presentation um but you know i i did get the feeling that that invitation to, for a conversation wasn't wasn't there um, it was pretty much a just, you know, cut and dry. This is this is it, and we're done, and they we were dismissed. Well, the, the, the chair that that shows up it fields questions, and 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 usually he or she has a sense of what those questions might be. Except we had one year when the budget came up, and that was really really awkward. But yes, the um, Barbara, if, you, if Barbara told me what questions were asked, I could probably tell you what year you came because. The questions they ask are always somewhat traumatic, and right. Penny's, Penny is the star of of you know close questioning. So um, history like, means a lot. Gosh. Yeah. Can you send these out in advance? Is that allowed? Is that a good thing to do? Can, oh, what absolutely. Did you Can, what did I mean, you say? So sorry? they could have a chance to look at it beforehand. Absolutely. Oh, they usually do get it ahead yeah, of time. They get it in advance. Yeah. They, they and they get up? it digitally. We okay. we still they've been getting it digitally for years, and um, we still give. We used to make a lot of copies because yeah, we, we did make a lot of copies of everything in the old days. Um, now, well, but if Penny's one of the problem questioners, you know, then if I'm prepped in advance, you know, um, well, ask I her, can, Barbara, go her, her ahead I, of time you know, and ask her what she's going to want it. Divert her, yes, by, you know, in advance, yes. Yeah, that'd be a great, great opportunity. Not, and, and you wouldn't call it problem. You would just say she's going to be thinking and, and interested and concerned. And she's going to, she, that she just, she, it, that she's one of the engage, people who's particularly engaged in our mission. Yes. And so, so she's going to ask something that we will know the answer to it just 
you know, anytime you're standing in front of this giant group of right, people right. in this enormous room, any questions like, are you going, <laughs> what am I going to say? And um, so, so that's, that's the fraught aspect, but well, they, none of us, none of them ask anything that's, that's too terrible. You're just glad that they are asking it, that, that they are mm -hmm. interested in what you're, you're doing. So, yeah. So, and don't forget, guys, our chair of the Board of Supervisors is Jeff McKay, and we, we've been blessed with Sharon, and we've been blessed with Jerry, and we've been blessed with Jeff, who are major supporters of history. And Jeff has been, as, as you all know, especially from the conference, very, very supportive of the good work we do. So we're going to be standing in front of people that at the end of the day are our allies, not mm -hmm. Um, otherwise it's true it's not a it's not a um a contentious thing it's just no, no. it's just so it's for my money it's just so glorious that you well deer in the headlights is is sort of how you feel i'm sure <laughs> um but but you know done it if we did if it gets to the point where we're doing it more in a conference room sitting down together and not so so grand it it would i mean not that that's this is all just details this is this is um not momentous what we're talking about but oh, anything wait. that we can do that promotes a conversation and we get to really be concerned and and share what we know and uh, it'll be great so when i contact i could actually phone maybe the uh, clerk's office and perhaps engage in a conversation about what is the ex expectation in terms of what this presentation is you know whether you know what what kind of format they expect mm -hmm. so can you, ask, can you ask some questions ask can the we, clerk yeah no or ask, yeah. like you guys one one year um, maybe three years ago, we were presenting the same day, four years ago, we were presenting the same day as um, John Burns. And I don't think they've done a, I think they did one annual report, ARB, and I'm not aware they've done another, but he took the opportunity to talk about issues. We usually are, are the typical, um, um report that i've heard chairman give is a little bit more we've done this and we did this and we did this yeah. and so i really liked it how how john that one time i heard it he he said these are our challenges these are the things you can help right. us with and i i tried that idea one time on a different organization i went before um the town council and i said well, you've seen our annual report, we do all these great things and you know it, but here are our challenges and here's where you can help. And I thought, you know, it may not change things fast, but it's a different way of, of approaching it, of, of, of problem solving, not just tooting our own horn. Right, so my two things would be, we need staff and we need um, some kind of incentives for owners of historic properties in terms of tax incentives and abatement. Yeah. So yep. those would be my two. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, by if we're if we're not presenting this till summer, I hope we will have made a little headway on each of those and whatever we say will reflect mm -hmm. the fact that there's been a board matter on this. I hope you'll pay attention. Right. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Okay, so anything else on the annual report? Let me just want point out one other thing on that uh, com uh, women's commission. It is titled biennial. So let me just plant that seed that that could be something we might want to consider is to do a biennial report. So let me get that straight. That's every other year? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not yeah. twice a year. Right. Well, so that, it actually can mean both, but what the both. intent is that we, yeah, every other year. I think semi-annual is twice a year. What? No, actually, uh, Tammy is right. Buy in, buy can be both. It can be twice a year or every other year. Yes. Uh, I'm going by wallflowers. I'm going by wallflowers and foxglove. 
Me too. Me too, man. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have something to add. Box club. <laughs> um, and before we leave the annual report, um, since lunch, um, in terms of kudos for Elise, since lunch is not a very viable option right away, how about presenting her with a certificate of appreciation at the next, at the February meeting? Um, and and uh, Cheryl can do that. Um, we can um, share it on screen and then send it to her by mail. That's and, a very cute idea. Mm -hmm. And if you are in agreement, then I can go ahead and um, prepare that and send it in an attachment when I send my action plan. And that would be good practice for doing cool graphics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Jordan. I'm sending her some flowers. That might be nice. Oh, don't go overboard. Now, um, I mean, <laughs> well, no, actually, that's a, a comment well made because some about a year and a half ago, uh, oh, what was her last name? Carol, help me. Carol Herrick, uh, Shep, uh, what was her first name? The lady that we, that passed that used to be. Oh, Paige Shelp. Page. 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 Her name Page. Page. Okay. Page Shelp. Yeah. Okay. So we lost her, and I had always wanted to do something in her honor, and we've we've never addressed that. So, if if we're not honoring someone who we've lost, then I think we need to not go too overboard with anything else for somebody who. Yeah, we should look at things. we should look at that. That's a good that's a good point. Um, so so that, and I don't mean that overboard is flowers. I just you you don't want the person to feel uncomfortable either. Um, now the the challenge of um, the challenge of the certificate is we we don't have the the exact years. Um, she's done every year. I've been paying attention. Um, minus three that I did it, um, and I don't know when she started. And they are not signed. She started putting her name on them later. So the only way to if we wanted to, you don't have to put the years on the certificate. No, you don't. But you, you just say, well, okay. So well, the many not. years you, you can. Say well, you know years. what? It would be nice if the certificate we give her looks something like our distinguished service awards that the awards committee uses. And there, I don't know if you all know what they look like. They're actually very pretty. Um, and I think, I think there might be some merit in in. Uh, Honoring her with a distinguished service. It is a distinguished service. Heck, nobody else wanted to do it. But we don't. I'm going to be a no on this. I don't think Elise has done a very good job on this. I think um, it's been terrible over the years, and I see no reason to give her something for okay. a job that. That's just my own opinion that I think she did a terrible job. Well, so, you know, I'm trying to think of. I'm a no. I'm so maybe we go back to flowers. No, no, let's she's not a flower person. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not. But I think um, a moment in the sun where we all say thank you is essential. Whether or not it was a job well done. This has been done for years. Other people didn't want to do it. She wanted to do it for many, many years. I, I have to no, say. No, she demanded to do it. I have okay. To, that's, a well, different issue. Well, that's a different <laughs> issue. Let's, I, yeah, I just want to vote no. I want to just balance out carols and um and i don't think we should belabor this but i but i um i think she's I, having read every single one recently i think they're very good they're there's there's they're very good they're something we can be proud of and we can hang our hat yes. on and you may You're have cut and paste dan you have, may have i i've personally done this sort of work i know exactly what it takes yes done it all my life it's tedious and, and it's important to do it well. It's real easy to make mistakes. Lots you'll find typos in books coming from from impressive publishers. But in the you're Bible, not, you're not going to find. You know, it's 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 a professional it's a professional uh, effort, and um, and I I think we I, I'm very happy to be grateful. And we are, and I am grateful. So if this needs to be a chair's award, that's fine. <laughs> but um, 
But uh, you know, you know, I don't like to disagree with Carol Herrick, but I just <laughs> no, I, I I know you would. <laughs> I have to once in a while. We've been disagreeing about a few things for years. Um, okay, so let's. Uh, uh, I suppose we could bring it down to a vote if we want, but I think if we did consensus and looked at the nodding heads, we would um, we would have a consensus. That, um, I like Sue's suggestion. I thought I thought it was um, simple, straightforward, and um, and it was a thank you. I thought that was sufficient, and I thought it was a good suggestion. I think it's I think it's very good. It's the the moment. Um, it feels like something. The moment is suitable to this moment. Yeah, and 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 Subi, if you want to know what the graphics have been for distinguished service, just to get an idea for that, I'm happy to forward those. I don't know, even know if you know what the awards look like. No, I'll be happy to uh, if you can send me uh, at least one. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be happy to. While we're on something of this topic, I, I got to show you guys. I, this is just like the coolest thing. Look at this little booklet. Mm -hmm. this, booklet? this yeah. is. Oh, yes. County African American History Inventory. I took the whole thing to Kinko's and had them put it in a little resource guide for me for my desk. This I, I and, and of course I'm I'm jumping the fence here because while I think my name is on the committee, I certainly haven't been an attendee in recognition. But um, this is one of the grandest things this commission has done in a I mean in a really really long time. I mean the depth of information here is phenomenal, and I would love to to highlight get to the media. This is something the History Commission has done to promote the history of the African American community. And it seems to me advocacy could take this on somehow and bring it to the Washington Post connection um, attention rather. OK, that's coming up under um, under press releases. OK, so, excellent. Um, How do you have a copy of it, Lynn? Printer it was the other day. We all got copies. No, no, but we all got a copy. I did not. Yeah. You, you got print, it, you take it to copy. I sent it to Kinko as I asked him to put it in a book for me. No, but how did you get a copy of the entire inventory? It's, it's, it's the one that the does final it. copy. I have mm -hmm. an email with a final company. Uh, I think I got it from Denise. It's with Denise. A, it's, it's, a, it's the one that's going on the website. Yep. That, it, that really the intent is that it's just for the um, to be available for teachers right now. And so right. that'll I mean, we're again jumping the conversation, but I think that the formal release of that isn't going to happen until June um, when the database is up and running. And and, um, and I understand that, too. But for so the time being, I wanted to have something that was like, yeah. you know, wow, I can check this because I just got this phone call. Cheryl, and thought, it came yeah. this week. So maybe okay, if you yeah, go back I might, through, I see, you'll yeah. see. I think I might so, have missed an email. All right, thanks. Yeah. Let me, so my, oh, my, there it is. It just feeling. showed up. That's weird. OK, it's sorry. Probably, it's probably in your spam. Um, it just so came up. Perfect. Yeah. So, so that the, oh, that is weird. So here's what I'm thinking. We have this. Um, let's just come back. If it's OK to skip over event participation and jump to press release issue. And Subi's got a um, a response, and so I would say I'm going to ask you to tell us about this response in a minute, Subi. But I would say that if we want to make a splashy announcement in June about our initiative, then we should maybe have some practice press releases about other real things uh, that we have put through the process. So we've developed a relationship with Crystal and Sarah and um, and and not just trying to shove something down their throats in the, in May. So if they release it on the the night, the for Juneteenth, um, we should get something in place. And you know, I it's got to Arguably, it's got to be from History Commission because it's our product. But I could see that the Board of Supervisors may be the ones make wanting to make the announcement because it's so wonderful. Yes, we, that's true. But, that's but we would like some input and some recognition and not have the situation 
that has happened before. So sorry, over to Subi. So thank you for getting a hold of the press office. And um, yes, so at the last advocacy um, uh, committee meeting, we um, uh, we talked about how to communicate with the press and whether the uh, no. <laughs> whether the uh, county had any um, uh, formal protocols that we should follow in in communicating with the press. Yes or not. Um, so with Denise's help, I was uh, able to find a contact person. Uh, who I asked for any written protocol or standard operating procedures for communicating with the press. And her response was, um, um, if you get a media request related to your work, please forward them to her and her colleague and uh, who was uh, copied on the email and that they would handle something, a re request like that on a case by case basis. Um, Sometimes, yeah, on a case by case basis. So I think Anne's suggestion of using um, uh, a trial um, press release would allow us to then see what the process really is. So it seems like they don't have any written protocol, but they have a an understanding of how to deal with it, and they'll just do them, you know, customize the thing, uh, the approach. Uh, so, in other words, anything that we generate has to go through them, um, and uh, it seems like they are friendly people, and that they would help us. Um, having been the manager of a Fairfax County library, um, even when there were issues or or press contact i was never allowed to speak to the press that's pretty common that's pretty common all, yes you know all communications with the press whether whether i mean i had an assault in my library you know and i mean you can imagine this did attract attention uh, i mean i did not speak to the press right. even though i was the manager of that library um, we had someone in the library system who was the designated person. So any contacts were referred to that person. That person came to my branch if if there needed to be a press contact. Um, so yeah, I'm not at the least bit surprised that they want everything referred to them. Oh, I'm not sure. I expected that. I don't that. think that's a bad practice, though. Uh, it's so common, though, in organizations. Yes. It's a way to protect the organization exactly. from a libel suit. And I think well, that's absolutely. But but today in that uh, webinar, I mean, and of course, these were were 501c3s that were talking, um, but they were talking about you know those those press contacts and getting the message out and and various ways of advocating. And I thought except that our our hands are cut off i mean we can't not individually but collectively we can do it with a spokesperson sure well and, and individuals can always speak for themselves yeah and there's two it's different the things we're talking yes. about here if like if you look at um subi's the note that subi shared here there's two different things if you get a media request which would be like a newspaper reporter wanting to ask her a, qu a question about like the cni um, that's one thing and then when we have something to say like we're having a history conference that's completely something else and that's something that's planned and there is a place to go to have that go out through channels and what we needed to find out was what's our channel and that's what Subi has has done here is she's yeah. she's identified where our theoretical channel is and now we just need to try it in practice is we have something to say let's try it you know it's it's um the part where she says it involves another count if it involves another county agency then it being handled by that agency is just a word of warning to us that there could be some complications that sure um, but but yes, who who could make an announcement about a history conference, but us, right? Uh, or an awards program, or who could just say the latest 
um, the latest marker that is about mm -hmm. to be put up. Yeah. I mean, it, That's and a maybe good example. we jump the gun and we say it's about to be put up. It's not up yet. I mean, we just should start thinking in that outward facing. Well, and way. using that contact. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so let's, um, as part of this group, and especially you, Cheryl, think about, and let's, maybe we can decide what that first press release request will be. It's February, no, it's January now. What's going to happen that is newsworthy or that we want to brag about? It could be, a, it could be, a, I mean, how, how current does it have to be? Nobody's heard a really read a really good article about our history conference. Do you know what has happened with that? <laughs> In years past, if I wrote an article, it might get published in the connection a month mm -hmm. later. I've read I've, I've read yours. I've read I've your, invited your people to come out and come to the conference and it mm -hmm. just doesn't get the kind of reaction that I wish it did. And the reason I discovered this year is that if whoever they're sending out isn't helping the connection make any money, then mm -hmm. it won't come out. You know, they're very um, cost conscious right now. So that but, but we, can, we, we can theoretically this press office has a, a lengthy um, constituency, which will include not only print media, but Tyson's uh, what's that reporter and patch and like everybody and his brother for something newsworthy that that you know so it's a choice it doesn't have to be the the Sun Gazette or the Fairfax Times it could be I mean just anything we can get out just to get it out of the oh I agree I agree it's just a connection once you get it in one it goes all over the county yeah it helps. right right so here's here are a couple of ideas that I had for um for a first release to go out um one thing is something we're going to go back and talk about is um is I'd like to have a Fairfax County History Commission table at the Mount Vernon um, District uh, Town Hall that's going to happen on the 12th of February. And to me, that's a very simple press release you could do is say, the History Commission will have a table, you know, at the Mount Vernon Town Hall, come by and talk to a History Commissioner and pick up a bookmark or whatever, you know, we might have there to give away. Um, so that that's one idea. Another idea is, I think, Lynn, that you had told me that um, that the Channel 16 is rerunning the history conference, or maybe they could rerun the history conference, you know, at, at a certain time that it's predictable, yeah. that we know they're going to do it. And um, and maybe that's, you know, for Black History Month, maybe there's a day I hope uh, so. in February where they're going to rerun that entire conference. If we know when that is, that's a press release where we can say, you know, right. it's a rebroadcast of our fantastically popular um, history sure, conference sure, from sure. November. And so that would be, and to me, these are softballs um, that would be great examples of a press release. Right. Emmy, what, I, I may have missed it, but and gang, uh, what, what did you decide about the Confederate Names um, project not to go forward with that? Because that seems like the real winner to me. It's so not that, one, that one was, that one was, you know, last year. That's last year's news. No. The yeah. African American History Initiative. Um, mm -hmm. This is an interim step where Denise you know, pushed through and got up the, um, it's a paper, it's a, you know, it's a document version of our inventory yeah. as opposed to the database, which is really going to be our, you know. So, so Tammy, uh, and, and I'm sorry, I don't want to diverge us, but that really should yeah. be up on our website because that is what um, the marker people are expecting is that it's it is. going. I believe that is up on the website, or at least that was Denise's. Is um, it not yet on the website? I don't think. Okay, so uh, good. All right. That's Thank the you. idea. Sorry. sorry another. That, that was another issue. I'm sorry for diverging you that way. Okay. So, so yeah, we can, we actually have. There is actually a press release that is coming up that I'm going to. Sh you know, I'm waiting for the the final wordsmithing to be done at, on it, and I was going to share it with the c commission overall. Um, on the marker contest at Black America, that is not a contest, the, not the project, yes. um, and uh, that that is going, that's going to mention um, our inventory. 
Um, so the inventory might be something, you know, the website version, even though it's not as snazzy as we want it to be, um, you know, we could perhaps do a, 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 a complimentary press release on, on that inventory um, mm -hmm. that matches the, uh, the, yeah. the Black Experience uh, press release that's coming out. Right. Oh, that's that's interesting. I didn't know that the black experience thing was was going to come out. And that's I mean, I think we had talked about at um, the end of this month, you know, doing the Juneteenth reveal of the African-American history initiative. Uh, but if it's already if if this piece that we're already putting up on our website is already going to be out there, you know, maybe we should do a separate press release on that. I don't know. It's up to you but, guys. I mean, yeah, we don't necessarily have to do a press release on it. But if you wanted to, we could because it should be up on our website. So it should be publicly accessible by the end of this month. Right. Um, the and, concern and, is, yeah, the concern is always um, sort of what's happened at previous marker dedications where the history commission is, you know, kind of an afterthought that it's mentioned. And so right. it's, well, all, all the more reason to piece of, Right. Yeah. So, so we're just, we're just like a, you know, a, a line buried in a big, you know, in a larger document. So I'm saying that if you want to make yeah. this your first press release, um, we can do the yeah. AHI um, inventory and, and then do another one in June, when we have a searchable database that's really snazzy that the GMU students have put together. Right. So that's, I, that's yeah. That's good my thought. fear is that for these things that other groups um, have worked on and who other groups have taken ownership of, um, we, we're going to keep to that sideline feeling because the way, just the way that second paragraph of the email says, well, if it involves another county agency or maybe a supervisor or they didn't say supervisor, but I'm saying it <laughs> or um, libraries or if you've been, you know, if it's another county like stat, real people who are paid, then they're going to take care of it and they might mention you. I mean, that's that that's how I read this second paragraph. It's reasonable. Is, is that you know good luck with it guys but that's why we're going to try this now if it's good timing for aahi if this is going on the website absolutely let's do it, it. let's it let's maybe not discuss the marker aspect because that's not i mean we're just helping and should be on the second line of that but um we probably won't get a, a word in edgewise to something mm -hmm. that's not produced by us. But mm -hmm. for something like um, something like this that's on our very own website, it's worth it. So who mm -hmm. would write it, a, a press release on this? Um, would that be uh, the chairman of the committee? Would that be... Probably. You, Cheryl, working with them to say, it doesn't have to be long, but if it's really going to be on our website, I think it's a terrific idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea. It's just my my only reticence was that we had discussed it, I think, in the December, um, I think it was at the December meeting, whether or not we would make this the big reveal. Um, but I think given that it's going to be revealed one way or the other, um, I think that changes that changes and I think I think we should go ahead and make this our first press release yeah, yeah maybe, that's why I was double checking to make we sure we probably that should ask Mary or it. Phyllis yes mm -hmm. yeah. this yeah. will be a surprise to them yeah Cheryl, we need to. Work, Cheryl can work with um those two chairs to um see if there are any other sensitivities or timing issues that we're not aware of now is that I Cheryl or Carol Cheryl Cheryl <laughs> And then Carol's going to write it, and she's going to present it in front of the supervisor. Um, so and hand that, deliver it to everybody in the county. Hand deliver, and then um, so it might be. I mean, I don't see, I don't see why we wouldn't do Tammy's ideas too. Oh yeah. I, uh, I just say we start churning them out. It doesn't take long. They they don't have to be lengthy. Right. Um, and as long as what they say is true. 
we will start getting some feedback from um, from the press office and see how it really works. Mm -hmm. If they go, well, we'll just see. We can't guess. We can't right. guess. Right. Um, and, and I think it's probably a good idea to have, um, because we don't know what avenue they're going to take with getting this out in the public, I think it's not a bad idea to include a graphic or a photo with each thing. Like, for instance, um, you know, the the graphic that would that would go with the AHI would be the cover, mm -hmm. you know, um, and just to, to feed that to them, because maybe they're going to put it up on one of the Facebook pages. You know, maybe they're going to, you know, I think it's just good to have a graphic to go with it. That's always helpful. Yeah, good idea. So in terms of uh, following up on each of these things, I would say, Tammy, um, why don't you go ahead and, and create a little a little press release on uh, your idea of Mount Vernon. Um, Lynn, if you could pin down um, what Channel 16 is doing about the conference, you could write a paragraph about that. You could include a photograph of, of something, maybe. Yeah, uh, sure. Well, I'll tell you what I'd love to include is a photograph of Laniel and Esther. Yeah, I'd be fantastic. Oh, that'd be nice. Just a conference. So, mm -hmm. so, so, and then, and then, um, and then Cheryl will follow up on the, yeah, and, and then if we, if this committee, every time we meet, and in between as well, says, oh, this is a really good idea for a press release, you know, they're not all going to happen, they're not all going to be accepted, yeah. but if we, if we do them, if we don't do them, they'll never happen. But if we do them, they have to be considered. Hey, Ann. Ann. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why don't we put out press releases every time someone is appointed to the commission? Yeah, another good one. Great idea. I great mean, idea. really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then, and then this is something Ann and I talked about. Is um, and this is a this is where you get into the sensitivities of um, of what ought to be released. And these are a little bit. These are not softballs is um okay so the letter on lake ann mm -hmm. you know that that we wrote on lake ann does you know to me that's something that we wrote um to, you know does that get put out it's it depends on the letter and who it's to for instance when we i think when we joined the um save river farm campaign that's to me i think that could have been a press release um uh so so you know these kinds of actions that we're taking in our monthly meetings sometimes some of them yeah. could be pre and we'd have to we have to think carefully about them because not yeah. all some of them are communications you know to the board of supervisors some of them are you know are uh, are going outside the organization so it, it depends maybe um when you did your research on this area did um did you is so, for, for example, I spoke with a, there was an article about Association Drive when that was active, and I spoke with a reporter, and there was an article published. Um, uh, is that, did you get the sense that before we do that, we have to get approval from someone or something like that? Mm -hmm. I guess if we're yes. speaking, yes. if we identify ourselves as yeah. a member of the commission. Yeah, my understanding is that we do, um, but... Uh, uh, you know, it, it, as you can see from the response, it my my specific question was more about written protocols, uh, and you know their general response was any you know like contact us anytime you want to communicate with the press, contact us, and then we'll handle it on a case by case basis. Yeah. And uh, I cannot imagine any organization allowing us to go directly to the press. I think this. I think this press uh, communication is strictly um, managed at the central level. It, it is, and sometimes they give their blessing because wasn't Barbara Naif um, approached yes. by the press and then she was she was permitted to do that, but they had a discussion about it before she did it, is my yes. understanding. It's, that's yeah. not uncommon, and I think that's fair. You, you know, you don't want to lose canon moment. Yeah. We, um, the, the, in 2020, when we started uh, in June with the the, C, the Confederate Names Inventory, um, we asked 
because of the, the some of the sensitivities that we were aware of, we asked what the press pro protocol was, and they created one. They they named a particular person that all inquiries should go through, and he got himself up to speed. And and, and that that was that was easy easier for everybody on that one. Than, mm -hmm. I mean, nothing stops you from talking to people just as fellow human beings and not right. as um, history commission members. And that's very helpful because you can you can share a lot with people who are in your world who don't understand right. what's happening, but you don't want to see Ann Stunts uh, of the history commission <laughs> says in the local paper unless it's approved by somebody when it's something um, sensitive like that. Right, right. Um, another thing, Subi, let me suggest that you, if, if you're kind of putting together a list of possible things to release, uh, whenever we elect a new chair or uh, if, if, I'm not keeping a list, I think Anne is. It's in the okay. minute. It's in the it's in minute. The okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so a, a new chair and 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 even the experience I had was really kind of an honor to be um, shifted as a as as it worked out. So even if a long term member um, would uh, step down, it would be an opportunity. You view each of these as an opportunity to make our organization look good, visible so, to be visible. So, so it's it's not. Yes, it might be an honor to someone that we put out a press release but it's also just getting our name in front of the public yeah well that's our desire mm -hmm. okay well this sounds um, good we've got some um just one question just one follow-up with regard Ready? to that well i might ask you know uh phyllis and, and mary to write the report the our press release it, do we coordinate through subi in terms of getting it out to your context I don't mean to burden you with a with the task, Subi, but I'm just trying to figure out how what the process is. We have not had that discussion of who's going to be the point of uh, contact, okay. so uh, I'm going to punt it back to Anne. <laughs> <laughs> it really could be anybody. Um, it, it could be you, be, Cheryl. <laughs> it should be one person. Um, and it could be. Excuse me. Um, I mean, I'm happy to be a point of contact or I'm happy for you to be a point of contact, Subi. I think it's nice if we take it away from Cheryl because her hands are busy. Um, well, I think we, it makes sense to go through the advocacy committee and have it be yeah. so that you guys are aware of these things. Um, yeah. And if you have your hands full, I'll take it on. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, Subi, can you make sure that our his that the live stream history conference really is on our website? I was told yeah, it yes. had been, but Chuck right. Morrow was not able to access it last week. Right, right. Thomas has been out of the office, so there are a couple of things pending for me to bring up to his attention. So yeah, it's on my list. Okay. Oh, click on a year. <laughs> Did you uh, find it? Did you find it, in? It says conference video and conference brochure. Yeah. And do you have 21s? Is 21s? Yeah. That's okay. what it says it is. I'll see if it pops up. Ooh, look. Okay. It may well be. We are Fairfax. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. That's good. Yeah, that Listen. can be part of the uh, part of the press release is that it's going to be broadcast on channel 16 on the 12th and then also it's available on demand on our website. <laughs> well, and having this the speaker's names as part of the press release, I think is important too. We had some pretty amazing Good people. Morning. Welcome to Thank the Fairfax County History Commission 17th Annual and Second Virgin. Who okay. is that? <laughs> Who is that? Is that? <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, let me go back to my document. You guys get me distracted like that. Um, I know. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, Subi, thank you for taking that on. Well, um, it, it, we can, it's something we could Sorry, move Subi. around if you, if yeah, I know. <laughs> Get you back on that. <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> um, it, 
it it's something we could move around as people get more or less busy or more or less involved in other things. Um, but but it, one person at a time, monogamous here, serial monogamy with the uh, with the press office. Um, and we'll see how we do. That's up. I am going to really try hard to commit to you to get these minutes out in the next couple of days because they're basically written. And um, and that way it's a reminder of what we each said we were going to do. You know, we'll do like, uh, uh, well, like I like to do, which is put people's names in bold who said they'd do anything. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, okay. So that is press release and press relations. So if you want to jump back, um, Tammy, and talk about your upcoming event in February. February right. 16th? February 12th. 12th. And, um, and it's all very tentative at this point. Um, we believe it's going to happen in person. So we're kind of stepping forward in faith that that's happening. I think they're going to decide in the next week or so whether it's really going to happen in person. It's an annual event that Supervisor Stork uh, holds um, at the uh, at Mount Vernon High School. The Oh, that is an awesome event. Yeah, that's it's awesome really nice. Event. So it's a town hall meeting, but before the town hall, there's, um, I, I would call it a vendor space, except nobody's selling anything. It's a space where there's all kinds of tables and there's. Um, it's uh, impressive. It's, it's very really, impressive. it's a, it's a really great uh, opportunity to walk through and kind of see the different groups that exist in our community. There's housing, there's, you know, clean water, there, you know, there's all kinds of different groups that are in there. Um, and our Mount Vernon Regional Historical Society has participated in it the last few years. And then FOFA is another one. Um, and we usually ask to be near each other so that sort of it's a history pocket, you know, in that area. And so so I thought, well, hey, you know, why doesn't the History Commission have a table there and out on the table we could have. And it's funny that you um, that you had printed and, and bound that copy of the AHI um, <laughs> inventory because I had I had said. And we could have that sitting on the table along with a bound copy of the CNI, which is a little bit of a bigger proposition. It's so easy to just go have those things spiral bound for five dollars. They'll do it for you. It's cheap. Yeah, this was really cost. I think altogether was like seven bucks. Yeah, um, it's so it's so great to be able to do that. And so you know, we have these products to show them. It would be great if there was a little silly giveaway like a you know, a magnet that had the History Commission website on it or a bookmark or, you know, we just used to have Christmas ornaments and things like that. Let me let me say one thing, um, CB and, and Tammy, too. If you're looking for a table, I'll tell you who does great tables displays because I've done Celebrate Fairfax at the um, Government Center is Elise. She's got the boards. Right. She's got the handout. She's got the pictures. So well, don't, don't forget her as part right, of that. That's part of what we were asking is, you know, I mean, if, of course, this is a limited, you know, time period to get this all together. But, you know, we were, you know, trying to recall where different pieces were. Like Anne had mentioned that maybe there was a History Commission banner. So um, the, are you guys looking at the agenda? Because there's a photograph of these things there. Um, I included a photograph of, of um, the History Commission banner. And and the tr the tr the velcro the velcro display boards that we used, and then I included a photo a photograph of one of uh, Elise's Fairfax history displays. Yeah. Celebrate Fairfax. So that sh so the the question there is somebody. We can try to track down the banner. Um, the last person I can remember who did uh, a table was. Our very own Barbara Peters, when you were in Annandale at that event. And I brought that back um, at a commission meeting, and I suspect it's housed somewhere in the, uh, the Fairfax cover? Library. Or how ah, about in our space there? Oh, that's too bad. That's That's my personal property because I never put in for it. But it's easy enough to get it. I mean, if it's in the Fairfax, if the Virginia room. Well, we, yeah, let's hope. Either in the Virginia room or I guess it wouldn't fit in our cupboard because it was kind of. It was yeah, I don't know. I mean. Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you for, for letting me know. I We were wondering. Well, I'll check with Esther. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. 
since because both of you were were working on that. Yeah, and I wasn't there. I mean, I sent my husband to that event with Esther. Good. Esther had a great time. She told me. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, so that's one question. The, another question, and Carol, you might remember this, is um, is who owned? Or we don't have to do this here. We could do it. Each of us could could uh, like Tammy. You could just follow up on all of this. But while we're here, yeah. Um, the the vel the the tabletop Velcro display boards. We had two trifolds in this picture um, for the the county's two hundred and seventy fifth. Do you know if those were ones we owned or ones we borrowed? No, I think the library owned. I think the library owned those, and they loaned them to Elise. I think so. Oh no, these are these are nothing to do with Elise. This was yours and mine and our little two hundred and seventy fifth. I remember that it was a windy day and they wouldn't stay up. Are they yeah. blue? Are they blue back? I, the library loaned them to us. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Yeah, because Elise had a completely separate um, tent doing the the general Fairfax History and Historical Society. Yeah, um, you're right. Down the way. So so that's good. So that's all. And then in terms of brochures, um, we if we want to use the trifold that. I think I sent with you guys. Um, I think I sent you the the brochure that's the trifold, the overview of the history Co commission. You, we could update that. We wouldn't. I don't know. I don't have time to overhaul it. Right. It could be There's not a lot of time to update it. But one suggestion I'd like to make is is yeah. listing the commissioners and their districts. I, is probably not a good idea because that's one of the things that outdates it rapidly. Yeah, and it's so and, and if we available. just put our website for a list of commissioners, um, that's a good idea. You know, we would avoid having mm -hmm. to to update every time we we have a change. Mm -hmm. Good point. That was a special one for for that event, so we were just dying to have our names on it. Um, I know, but you know what our board could have, our board could have, you know, the commissioner's names on, you know, just a single sheet, you know, that has the commissioners for each district, you know. We had, um, you can see if, if, if I sent my draft that had these photos in it, maybe I didn't, um, the, uh, well, they're just all sorts of pictures of us, of, yeah. of conferences, of buildings on the inventory. I mean, you, there's all the, it's all the obvious um, sort of big topics that we do, and you sort it's it's a lot of fun to do. In fact, yeah. we may have chunks of it already digitally that to to lend to you, um, mm -hmm. so you don't necessarily have to reinvent the wheel. I'll look through my um, through my computer. Right. And then another, uh, bro there is a an, a an existing brochure trifold on inventory that was done in nineteen. And right. you should just look at that and see if you'd like to. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit out of date, but that, you know, but it's. No, know. no, it was, but it was made to be generic. And it, I read it today. It's on our website. Oh, okay. I and thought it like listed the inventory. I thought it was the one that had the map. No, this is just, oh, there is that. That's a yeah. whole, yeah, yeah. But no, this is just a little, a little trifle. Just right. a little trifle. And, but even um, that's out of date. Huh? What did you say? I said even that is out of date. What what part? Well, the commissioners. No, no, not that. I mean, we're talking about the one that was made for inventory. Just oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's all right. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Right. So that could be good, too. Yeah. I think we tried to make that one just super generic. Right. Um, you know, it it's 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 very. Yeah. So yeah. there may be actually printed copies. I you would ask Elise if there or Denise if there are existing piles of it. I mean, who knows what's sitting right. in our cupboards at the at the at the library? Um, right. And this will this will just be this is kind of a trial balloon to a certain extent. You know, it's a short time frame, so it's going to be whatever I can get my hands on to show. It might just be a science fair trifold that I put together with pictures that are on the website. That's very simple um and and we'll have time to talk about it um 
just very briefly at the next history commission meeting and and just see if anybody you know is available to join me standing at this Tammy, table and Tammy, it's it's not just Mount Vernon. Send, do you want me to send you some pictures from the um live stream history conference this year sure okay sure yeah Every that'd be nice a little bit helps yeah that'd be great um what's the date again tammy it's february 12th so it's a saturday and the and the um the part where the vendor mall for lack of a better word is open is it's a fairly short time period i think it's just you know an hour or two before the actual town hall starts so it's sort of a brief window and then um, everybody wraps it up and goes to the town hall they do it really closes down and everybody goes into the town hall and some people leave <laughs> so um but it's but it's really a great i mean it's really terrific and they bring it's got good topics and they bring people from across the county and um it's really very well done. I I I have the twelfth open, Tammy, and um, and I could possibly bring some stuff from Historic Huntley and thus kill two birds with one stone. There you go. There you well, go. You know, I was know. about to volunteer, but I'll I'll defer to Cheryl. One oh, of the guys, I, oh, one do of, we? Oh, do we have to be careful about not having three of us together? No, but we're not. not at all. No, I, I, that's okay. No. We we show up at marker unveilings together. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's not, it's not, true. we're not conducting business. We're we just, just don't talk to each other. Yes, exactly. Right. We're talking <laughs> well, to the community. You're welcome to come, Barbara. Yes. The, um, yeah. I think, uh, you know, one of the, one of the really important uh, roles that the history table has, at, has had at Celebrate Fairfax is that it just is a t tables full of brochures from all the local historical societies. Mm -hmm. It is really important and wonderful because yeah. all the little, although it just shows, it just shows what the county is made of in the history world. All yeah. right, so it, we have passed the two two hour mark. Not not from exactly when we called it to order, but it seems to me if if you look at the end of the agenda, I think we could just not do it other than to. Have a set a next meeting date. Um, what we've got our hands full doing what we've already discussed. There's there's another section on other ways to share what we do. There's prioritizing issues to advocate, but we have a couple of marching orders already with liaison versus staff that that Cheryl will look into and a higher budget funding. We're going to talk to Denise about both of those things. So so then well, you haven't even talked about today's webinar. Oh yeah, that's it. That was oh before we all forget that one. I'm a, I went to most of it. It was what good. was it what was the topic? I had a slam day. This is like my sixth meeting of the day. I'm gonna be yeah, on the Alliance the Alliance webinar, the Alliance of uh, History commissions. Yeah, yeah, I wondered about that. That's okay. Yeah. It was on advocacy. Yeah. And they went a, a lot into um, lobbying, which we're prohibited from doing. So <laughs> that was all kind of like, okay. Well, um, but no, we aren't. I mean, the the indirect um, is, is what's open to us. We can encourage people to care. Yes. We, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Them. But the, I, I think we could encourage everyone oh, everyone we know could we we don't have a mechanism to do it but everyone that we know to show up at a board meeting where they're voting on something i think we can do that um we can certainly lobby our own supervisors that's a right. that's not called lobbying that's right. called advising yeah. Yeah. right it's it's you know it's, it's going thing. straight to richmond it's it's the going straight to richmond um just because again like with the press releases they want to make sure that we're all speaking you know in the same direction and um so okay but i've got an email well, into valerie from channel 16 we'll see what she's got to say about any showings okay oh, and oh, um, good. yeah the um uh, they will actually for that webinar today. They will actually, you know, send out a link that, um, you know, that you can watch later. Um, that's all. So guys, I've, I've got to drop off. I know you're. Yeah, I, I should too. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Uh, we got to get going. Thank to, you for coming, Jordan. Yeah. Just to let you know, if you have nothing else to do on Saturday, I'll be on C-SPAN too, 
uh, at 9.15, 12.15, and 9.15 at night. To talk about <laughs> what? What are you talking about, George? Uh, the Historic Preservation, the, the Advisory Council. Yeah. Wait, oh, okay. not, not Section 106. I was kind of thinking we might really, I'm just 12, teasing. 15. Well, no, no, it's a, it's a large part of it. It's a large part of 106. And that was part of the of, of the hour long interview, and there, there's also video of of several cases where I feel that the council really made a difference. So nice. There you, go. yeah. Good. Well, yeah. I'll have to figure yeah. out how to get it. Yeah. As I don't have cable and never have. <laughs> when I was a young Tammy. What time is the thing at Mount Vernon? Um, you know, I don't know that they've given out that. It's usually it usually starts early, so it's like a you know, 8 a.m., 8.30 arrival. Um, can I, can I? Bye, Jordan. Um, Bye, Jordan. I'll, I'll get back there. They're, they're going to be firming up their plans, um, you know, this weekend and just make that final decision whether they're going to really be in person um, or just do it virtual again. I, I hope they do it in person. And I hope this wave, you know, of Omicron is, you know, on the downward slope by then. I really hope. Um and that we can, you know, we can do things like that because it's really, it's just a different ball game. Yes, we, when you have virtual stuff, more me, more people can come, but the interaction that you get um, in person is there's something special about that too. Oh yeah, I think that's what everybody misses. I'm hearing that so much in my in my coaching webinars that I've been a part of is that one of the reasons folks in this country are so kind of depressed and out of it now is <clears throat> they don't get to be around people. Even yeah. if from an introvert. Yeah. 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 It's hard on everybody. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you see what we're what we're not talking about in the uh, in the interest of 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 uh, not staying up all night. We have a, a bit of unfinished business and things to continue to talk about. Um, there's 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 no rush on all the new ideas to share. They're all brilliant but we don't have time to do anything about them right now. Mm -hmm. I did like one thing. I have a piece under uh, send internal press releases to the supervisors for their in uh, for their newsletters. That's mm -hmm. a huge one. You know, Walter yeah, yeah. sent out today or yesterday a very nice piece on the um, on the historic records at the courthouse and with a video. I mean, it's very nice and it nice. does a just the sort of thing every single supervisor should have uh, a link to the if we do nothing else we sh we could for black history month send them the link to the conference absolutely you know so that actually yeah. will take yeah. doing to do it so i'll put i'll write that down that we really do right. want to do that yeah, and that's and that's you know not something that takes a whole lot because the hard work was already done and it's already up on the website, you know. And uh, it's not controversial. We're not working through a press office. We're just talking to our supervisors. And right. I would, I would think we could just do a blast to all the supervisors, Cheryl. Yeah, why not? Uh, sure. Yeah, just to say, if you want to put this in your newsletter this month. Mm -hmm. This is a cool thing that's up on channel 16. I mean, we could, we might be know, more than that when Lynn finds out that it's yeah. on TV. But you know what, speaking of that, so that's- I, I think that the press you... office actually does do something like that on a regular basis. They they send information to the supervisors for their newsletters specifically. They mm -hmm. have like a little name for it too, what it's, whatever it's called, I forget. We should, we should find out if we're supposed to fold ourselves into that process or can- But, go but that was right. exactly right. what that's happened um, with the um, James Lee marker because um, the- Office of um, Neighborhood and Community Services sent the release to Palchak's office for for a press release or for inclusion in her monthly newsletter about the marker, but their release neglected to mention the History Commission. Mm -hmm. So that and speaks to we how we didn't send anything, right? And so. You know what she put out was exactly what you know neighborhood and community services had sent her so barbara we learn our lesson it's all the more reason to do this because dueling press releases require somebody 
to put them together. Um, you would, they think. Want to, you yeah. would think. So no, that's but, what you guys brought up is a really good point because um, you know, the 31st is, you know, barely it's 10 days away. And so we really need to have um, the pr a press release. If we're going to hit Black History Month, um, right. we really need to have a press release within a week. Um, we need to know what we want to say. Yeah. And you know what, Tammy, what you probably have electronically, and if you don't let me know, is the actual brochure for last year's history conference. It right. I do have that. Yeah. It's got yeah. some good graphics and it. it should be a PDF. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Um, so yeah, so I'd say, you know, our our um our timeline line on that um finding out if channel 16 is gonna rebroadcast um or whether yeah. we're just gonna talk about our our website. Um we probably should make that call, you know, by next well, I, I've sent her an email. It's gone. Yeah, perfect. And so hopefully we'll have an answer on by the you know, by next Thursday. So oh, that I we think can... we'll have an answer tomorrow. Perfect. That's yeah, great. Valerie's, yeah, Valerie's turnaround skills are very good. Oh, that's and we good. might be able to bundle that together with uh, AAHI. Oh um, my heavens, yes, that'd be perfect. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Also, yes, yeah. and I the, can have a picture taken of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that's mature. Lynn, do you recall the conversation we had with Jerry Conley's um, outreach person, community outreach person? Yeah. Because she wanted us, you know, she wanted information going into their office about any sort of like Black History Month or those sorts of things, um, uh, you know, that if we were putting up content on our website about that. Was this um, Maddie? Was this the lady? Not, not, there's several Maddies that we come across, but um, was this lady's name Maddie? I don't remember. Um, Anyway, so Jerry Conley's yeah, office we did is, have, is another you know, outlet. We talked to her for could. almost two hours. Yeah, yeah, we spoke to her for a long time. <laughs> yeah, very long. <laughs> but it was a while ago. <laughs> you know, it really was. It was like only like last November. I know. It feels like forever, though. I know. Um, but uh, but Jerry Conley's office is another uh, outlet that we can use. Is my point? Is it Maddie White? Could be. I was thinking green. I thought it was a color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Subliminal. Subliminal. White is not a color. <laughs> no, Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Only an artist would know that. So, uh, uh, Barbara, uh, Anne, I need to go. Oh, yeah, yeah I do too. Good. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, <laughs> yeah, because my butt no. is like so wide right now. I can't. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot of very soon follow up, which is good. This this compressed deadline will, will get our, our focus. Yes. And I'll just fold all the things we said we were going to do today. Right. That's okay. good. That's let's, good. Uh, let's good fold. meeting. Good night. Good night. Yes. Thanks, All right. Thank you. Good meeting. Thank a lot you. got done. A lot got done tonight. This is good meeting. It did. It's good Thank stuff. Thank you, Anne. Bye. Thanks, Anne. Okay. How do we do dismiss? I guess we